Hi guys, this is Donna with Love Rocks, and we are going to do some Valentine gnomes today. Uh, before we start, I'd like to thank everybody who has become subscribers to our channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I ask that you please subscribe and like, and uh, please leave a comment. Um, if you are new to the channel, then you may not know. Every video that I put out, we do a drawing from the comments under the video. And the drawing for that is for the rocks that I paint on the tutorial. So if you want to be in that drawing, then you must uh, comment and subscribe in order to get into the drawing. We usually run the drawing about 48 hours after the video uh, first plays. And so um, if you get to some of my videos late, we will have already done the drawing, but I would still love to hear from you. Um, with that being said, if you do subscribe, then you will get a notification and that notification will uh, let you know that there's a new video and you'll automatically know that there's gonna be a drawing. So you'll never miss the drawings as long as you subscribe. So with that being said, let's move forward. Uh, I did some Valentine gnomes. I may do one more Valentine uh, video before the holiday. Uh, we'll see if I get it if I get enough time to get it in here. But these little gnomes, I did the first one uh, to make sure that I had all the colors that I needed and make sure that um, I knew what I was going to do because these. I freehand my gnomes and I kind of make them up as I go. So to do the first one uh, just kind of gives me an idea of what I'm going to do on video for the second one. And then I'll run the video for the second one and that's that's the one you're seeing here. But we are going to go ahead, since I've got two gnomes, we're going to go ahead and do the drawing for both of them. Uh, you can use any colors for these. I used baby pink and I used engine red. I used black and white. And then for the nose, I always use camel. It's a nice base color. And then I can always add in a little bit of pink, a little bit of white, a little bit of red to do my shading and my highlighting. I also use, uh, for the highlights on the hat, um, I'll add a little bit of pink to that, uh, to my red. And then for the shading, I most of the time I use black. Sometimes I'll use a, another primary color you know, to bring in some darker shades uh, if I want to bring in a little bit of blue hue or something like that to a color. Um, I, I will use some primary colors to, to do that shading once in a while, but most of the time it's, it's easier just to pull a little bit of black in there and, and darken up that red or any other color that I'm working with. So um, with our gnome, um, I just, I did a basic hat. Um, I did, actually, this is a pretty basic gnome. I did a basic hat. Um, I have him flying his little balloon. And uh, he's he's just hanging out there and, and enjoying life. Um, when you're doing your shading and when you're doing your highlights, just make sure that you know where you're your light source is coming from, whether it be sunlight or whatever, um, make sure you know where it's coming from so that everything on your picture has the same shade in the same place. Um, that's the only thing that'll distort something is if you've got the light coming from different places on different objects. So just make sure that all of your objects, you've got that lights and darks coming from the same places. Um, and you know, you can add anything to this. Uh, you could add him holding flowers. You could add, uh, instead of putting hearts on his hat, you could put, you know, some little flowers in his hat. He could be holding some um, candy, a box of candy. Uh, I had actually thought about putting a box of candy under one arm and then flowers in the other hand. Um, and, and then at the last minute, I changed my mind, but I might do something like that on another one. Um, you can just, you can really spruce these up. You can change them to just about anything you want. And, and when you change them, they just really become yours. So um, make sure that you, as you're painting these, that you just kind of do your own thing if you want. 
Um, I, I love putting the tutorials out because it gives you a starting place. A lot of times, that is where I get hung up is my starting place. You know, uh, I'll have a million ideas in my head and I'm like, oh, what do I want to do? Um, and then once I start the, the painting um, and, and start that process, oh man, it just flows after that. So um, the hardest part I think is starting. And so I'm hoping that by doing these tutorials, it will give you um, a basic place to begin, and then you add any flair that you want to it. Um, you can change up his hat. You can change up the colors. Um, you can change up what he's holding. You can change up the background. A lot of times my gnomes don't have a lot of background because um, my gnome is the what I want to be the focus of my my uh, artwork on the rock um, if I was doing this for somebody or doing it for a garden I might put in some background and a little background uh, shading and coloring and maybe some trees and things like that uh, you know to put out in a garden or something but for a tutorial I really try to keep it as basic as possible then you can add whatever you want to it, or you can just pick him up and put him into whatever scenery you want to put him into. Uh, you can always add two gnomes if you have a rock big enough. Um, so, you know, sky's the limit with these things. Uh, basically, these tutorials are to give you an idea of one, you know, what do you want to, to paint, and two, um, to show you that they're not that hard, that a lot of us uh, will do these tutorials and they look so difficult. But if you actually follow the process, um, slow down the video, uh, pause the video and, and, and just go along with it, um, a lot of times it's really not that difficult and you'll get good really fast as you're, as you're following along. So don't let things that you see uh, in the groups or on tutorials, don't let them uh, intimidate you because honestly, it, if you pick up a brush and you pick up your paints, you're, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be able to do this. It is not a paint by number, but it's darn close. So um, I guess that's what I wanna do with these tutorials is show you that you can do this. Anybody can do this. These are very basic, and even though they don't look it, they really are. And you can you can impress yourself, build your confidence, and you know have something fun to show your family. So please take advantage of them. They're free. Um, the most that I have ever asked anybody to do, I don't even ask for anybody to pay for shipping to uh, send the rocks to them. The most I've ever asked is you know just subscribe to the channel so that we can grow and so that I can uh, get more of these videos out. I can spend more time doing those and, uh, you know, bring more things to, um, to my viewers. So please enjoy and don't be afraid to try it. Um, let's talk about supplies a little bit. So uh, there's not a whole lot of new stuff on this one. If you have been watching my other videos, um, the paints are folk art paints, and uh, you can use, like I said, any color you want. Um, I try to always list and show you the colors that I'm using on a particular project. So again, uh, you know, if you're, if you're new or nervous, um, it gives you a starting place. It gives you a place, you know, a little list. Let's go get this to the store and let's get this done. Um, so... I most of the time just use folk art paints. Um, my paints, all but my black. My black is a matte black that's not a multi-surface. Um, all the rest of my paints are multi-surface. Um, the reason I do that, they seem to do better uh, when you put these rocks out in the in the um, in the elements. Uh, the other thing is, a lot of my rocks, especially these white ones, are porous. And they really soak the, 
uh, paint up when you start putting it on. Um, it can take me up to two, three layers before it quits soaking it up. So um, with that being said, I don't know, the multipurpose just seems to do better on on these real porous uh, rocks. Um, these are, they're called beach, uh, beach pebbles, I think is what they call them. And so um, I, I, they just seem to really suck the paint in. So anyways, multi-purpose paints. Um, the other thing is that I, um, my brushes, I started using uh, that new brush. It's um, out of a set and I got it off of Amazon. I'll leave the link. Um, I really like them. The brushes are good. I, I'm not going to tell you that the brushes are like amazing because they're not. They're 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 good brushes. They're quality brushes. I like the handle. The handle sets in your hand very nicely. When I finally get to sit down and paint, um, I try to sit down and paint for a couple of hours because. I very seldom get any, well, I never get any time during the day to paint. I work, and then when I'm not working, I'm either cooking, cleaning, taking care of the house, I've got other things to do, paying bills, whatever. And so when I finally sit down late in the evening to paint, um, I want to be able to paint until it's time for me to go to bed. And so um, I'll paint for a couple hours and these brushes are very comfortable. I, I really like the comfort of them. So um, they're inexpensive. You can get, like I said, this set was about, I think there was either eight or 10 in this set. I will leave the link in the description. Um, and it was a little, it was less than $15. I want to say it was someplace around 11 or $12, but for sure it was under $15. Um, the rocks. Everybody asks about rocks. So I get my rocks from several places. I, um, my dad um, is really good about helping me collect rocks. Uh, he brought me about ooh, 300 rocks a couple of weeks ago. And um, he just picks them up as he goes around different places. He's out in the out in the mountains a lot and things like that. So he'll, he'll pick me up a rock here and there. And they just, they add up and he brings them to me. Um, and I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, and then uh, some of them, as these white rocks, uh, I get at the big box store. Um, these are called, I think, these are called Mexican beach rocks, I think is what they're called. I will put the link for them in there. There's about 25 pounds in this bag that I get. I would say there's probably close to... There's over 100 rocks in the bag, but there's probably close to 40 of them that are nice and flat and round that you can paint without any problems. Um, and I could actually do this kind of stuff on. Um, and then uh, the rest of them are like not flat. They're very round. They've got maybe some breaks in them or they've got some abnormality to them. And I just use those for my hiding rocks. Um, I, I paint as many hiding rocks as I can get my hands on. So, um, that's what I do with my, my downtime in between doing videos. So, um, th that's a really good way to get them. You can get them in the white and you can get them in a, a really dark color, which I've done several videos with the dark ones as well. So, uh, those are the two places that I have personally used now. A lot of people go to their local landscaping uh, place and talk to them and they'll let them buy, you know, a bucket of rocks or a couple of bucket of rocks. I haven't had to do that yet. Uh, there is a couple of landscaping places. Um, I'm here in central Texas. And so there are a couple of places here in uh, around my town that I could go to, but I haven't needed to yet. So when I do that, I'll, I'll make sure and post that and show you guys. Um, but that's the places that I get them. Um, either they get picked up by my family, friends, or myself, uh, or I buy them at Big Box Store, Lowe's, Home Depot, any garden center. So that's the rocks. Um, and then the next thing would be sealer. Um, I, if you've watched my videos, you know that I use spray sealer for my rocks. Uh, 
I, for a couple of reasons. One, I give all my rocks away. Um, if I'm not giving them away for uh, drawings, then I give them away to family and friends. If I don't give them away for family and friends, I tend to hide them. So um, the spray sealers are inexpensive. They're fast. They're easy. Um, they, they do the job. I spray them, you know, maybe three, four times, um, make sure they're sealed real good. I spray the fronts and the backs because I, I do put, um, the ones that I hide, I do put my, my, uh, Facebook group on the backs of those. And so that way people know where to go to post, uh, a picture of their rock when they find it. And so, uh, I just seal it all afterwards and, and it does well. I won't lie. I am really tempted to start playing with resin. Um, if I do start playing with resin, you guys won't be seeing it for quite a while. I want to make sure that I, you know, am able to, uh, do a good resin job before I, I put it on a video. Um, I have seen several people that have started with the resin and it does look like there can be a learning curve there. So I want to make sure that I can do it well before I, before I do that. So that would be uh, the sealing of the rock. Um, dotting tools. I do use a set of dotting tools. Um, my set was a really big set. Uh, Again, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that that's where I started with um, painting rocks was in um, dotting. I decided I was going to try dotting. I'd never done it before. I thought it kind of looked fun. Um, I bought a small set off of uh, uh, online of dotting tools and all the stuff that goes with it. I bought my paints and I started dotting. I dotted for, I don't know maybe a week, maybe a week and a half. And um, instantaneously, <laughs> I, I immediately started um, painting. I, I, I'm just not good at it. I, I don't know what it is, but there's just something not, um, n not fulfilling for me in dotting. I have seen some gorgeous dotting um, pieces and uh, those people are amazing. The amount of uh, time and precise uh, placement of their dots and sizes and, and everything is, it's, it's beautiful and it's definitely a talent. Um, but for me, no, I, I just, I didn't enjoy it. Um, I was, I, I did a lot of artwork when I was a kid in high school and right out of high school. And then I gave it up when my kids uh, were little because I just, I was busy, had a family. And um, when I picked that brush up and started painting, um, it just all came back how much I enjoyed painting. So I levitated straight to painting rocks and uh, I'll probably never go back. So um, anyways, a dotting tool uh, set is very good to have. It's handy. But you don't have to have one. Um, you can use all kinds of things around the house. Um, you can use um, the end of a pen. You can use the end of a of like a makeup brush. You can use um, you can use Q-tips. You can use toothpicks. Uh, you can use skewers. Um, the skewers are really nice because you can cut them in the middle and you've got a larger dot and then on the end you'd have a smaller dot. So there are a lot of things that you can use um, to to make your dots in the, in the house where you don't have to go buy a, a bunch of stuff. I just happened to buy a set because that's where I thought I was going to start. The other thing is a lot of times I'll need um, a perfect circle for something. Um, whether I'm sketching around it or whether I um, dip it in paint and just make my circle, it doesn't really matter. So if I empty something that has a lid that is small in a perfect circle, I'll keep that lid after everything's gone and, and I've washed it and everything. So I have several little tiny lids, uh, chapstick lids, amazing. They are perfect for doing a lot of different circles that you that you want just the outline of circle. Um, I've used uh, the lids off of um, what are they called? Like uh, little spray bottles. Um, I've used those hairspray bottles. I've used those like a pump spray. So uh, anything like that. 
um, just kind of keep it in the back of your mind. And I've got a little box that sits off underneath my desk that I use, and I'll just toss those little implements. I even found a little square lid that came off the top of a medicine bottle um, that was used for measuring medication. And after we got done using the cold medication, I cleaned it up, and it makes a perfect little square. So, you know, if you find anything like that in your home, keep it. Um, you never know when you might need it. And just toss it in a little box, and you've got it when you do need it. So that's what I use for um, for doing the dottings or the circles or whatever. Um, and then I guess the last thing would be um, what I would use for uh, tracing. So I, I try to freehand as much as I can. There are times when I don't... I'm unable to get things just right when I'm freehanding, such as um, nostrils on an animal. Sometimes I will not be able to get that nostril, the actual nostril hole, in the right place. When that happens, uh, a lot of times I can, um, I'll use a little bit of tracing paper um, for placement. Because I'll tell you what, if you don't get those holes in just the right place, or the eyes just spaced exactly right, uh, it'll throw your entire picture off. And you will fight with it and fight with it and fight with it before you finally figure out what you've done wrong. So um, I do I do sometimes use a little bit of tracing paper. There is an app on your phone that you can get. It's a free app um, that you can use for projecting a picture onto your rock and then you can you can trace it and um, that's easily um, accessible also. So uh, those are some of the little things that I use. Um, I don't think anybody uh, is, is perfect. So please don't ever think that you can't use things like that to um, better your, your paintings and to make your paintings just a little bit nicer, a little bit, a um, little more, you know, crisp. And uh, there's a, I, I learn stuff all the time. Um, so just give yourself a break and know that, um, that, you know, sometimes you, you got, you need to have some of these things to fall back on. Um, so anyways, um, we're about done with these little guys and I really like the way they turned out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that you stayed here for the whole thing and you're going to comment and get in the drawing. I will see you next week.